Hello, welcome back to the CUTV News Center. My name is Will Moore, and this is the Vulcan Sports Report. With the breaking of spring comes the conclusion of the 2011 Vulcan basketball season. CUTV had complete coverage of the Vulcans' run through the PSAC West in a season that saw its share of highs and lows. Of seven new players to the Vulcans' roster this season came great optimism, but also great concern. Could so many new faces in key roles come together to build a winning team? After posting an 8-6 record in the PSAC West and a 15-12 overall record, the answer was yes. After defeating then number 15 Bowie State handily and capturing the Salem International Classic, the Vulcans started PSAC West play by going 5-3 before dropping three straight to Edinburgh, IUP, and Mercyhurst. Seemingly out of contention, California responded. The Vulcans would go on to defeat Slippery Rock, Gannon, Clarion, and Lockhaven to qualify for the PSAC Conference playoffs. In their first appearance in two seasons, California would drop a heartbreaking loss to the eventual champion Crimson Hawks to close out IUP's Memorial Fieldhouse, as well as the Vulcan season. Despite the early exit, there were bright spots to the Vulcan season. Forwards Rashad Hatton and Steve Swick were named to the All-PSAC West team, with Hatton leading the Vulcans in rebounding, free-throw percentage, and three-point percentage. Swick, a junior transfer from the University of Akron, led the Vulcans in rebounds per game with 12.2 average. With all the three players returning next season, the Vulcans look to field an even better team and season next year. Yesterday, Enrico Iso, a trainer for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the only female trainer in the NFL, spoke at Cal U. CUTV's Clinton Logan was in attendance and has more on the story. As part of Women's History Month here at California University of Pennsylvania, the only full-time female athletic trainer in the NFL came to speak to students about her profession. Ariko Iso of Tokyo, Japan, is the only female athletic trainer in the NFL. Iso joined the Steelers organization in 2002 as a full-time athletic trainer after interning with the Steelers for the previous two years. Iso took some time to visit California University of Pennsylvania to talk to Cal students, teachers, and even students from Clarion University about her daily routine and her journey to be the first female athletic trainer in the NFL. People mention about fe being a female and working at a professional level, but uh, to me, to overcome being a non-U.S. citizen, uh, to find a job and uh, being evaluated as, or you know, considered as a candidate, that was harder to do. But uh, as a female, you know, I'm asking the same opportunity as male, so I'm trying to work same as male, like, you know, it has to go both ways. That's always back in my head, but, you know, that nothing too special, I, I believe. We got a chance to talk to one of the athletic trainers here on campus to see what they thought about ESO's presentation. I got some good take-home information for the students for our clinic ed classes. Um, a lot of them dream of going into the NFL, dream of going into the pros. I don't think they quite realize what goes into it and the hard work that goes into it. More importantly, I don't think they realize the stepping stones that go into it. They just think you kind of apply and next thing you know you've got the job. Although the NFL is in a lockout, that has not stopped the athletic trainers from their normal schedule. However, that may change after the NFL draft. For CUTV News Center, I'm Clinton Logan. Early the, earlier this week, California University named Peter Latournu as the new head coach of the Vulcans volleyball team and the sixth in team history. He previously coached at Division III Frostburg State University, where he built an impressive program that went 144 and 61 under his tenure. Latournu led Frostburg to an 18 and 0 conference record in each of the past two seasons. This season, Latournu was named the Capital Athletic Conference Coach of the Year. All right, guys. So uh, talking about California on uh, stepping up to the, the next level. Uh, after California, we've seen some players with the Pittsburgh Power making an impact this right. season. Kevin McCabe and uh, Gary Butler uh, with the new startup team up in Pittsburgh. Uh, they've been putting putting on quite a show so far. They're one and one so far, going to travel to uh, Milwaukee this weekend for their first away game. That'll be Monday night. Yeah. Uh, how about Kevin McCabe and this team so far? 
Well, you know, well, I've never, I can't say that I've seen arena football, especially not in person, but I am looking forward to going to see the team because our own um, Veronica Busilli is on the dance team. And so, yeah. you know, I'll go to see, I'll watch the football while I'm there. <laughs> you know, I figure I owe them that. Yeah, I heard that. Con congrats to Veronica. We can't wait to get to a game. I've never seen one either, so uh, we're going to have to go. Arena uh, it's a whole different breed of football. It's a lot faster. It's really <laughs> exciting. High-paced offense, so. All right. Thanks, Will. No problem. <laughs> that will do it for this edition of News Center. Don't forget, you can check us out, check out News Center anytime online. You can visit our page by going to youtube.com and searching CUTV News Center. We'll see you next week.